Hey guys, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a gradient color text effect using Generate Blocks and a few reasons uh, where and why you shouldn't use it. Let me show you how. Alright, so here again is uh, just kind of my dummy page here I use for demo purposes and what I'm going to use is this H2 headline right here as our example of where we're going to change that to a gradient text. So let's go ahead and jump in and edit that page in a new tab. And what we're going to do right off the bat is apply a CSS class to this headline block so that we can go write the CSS that we need to turn it into a gradient color. So click the block, if you scroll all the way down on the bottom and hit advanced. Under additional CSS classes, we're going to input this text, gradient hyphen text. Uh, you can use whatever you want, just make sure it's consistent uh, with the class that you carry over into your CSS code. Hit update, and now what we're going to do is go back to home, dashboard, go to customize. So we can jump in and write the CSS. So um, right here we've got our CSS editor with our page and our headline showing here. So we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to say gradient hyphen text. That's our CSS class we used. And first we're going to type background. Uh, now how this works is it creates a background gradient and then it clips the text so that uh, essentially it creates a, a clipping mask. Uh, in the shape of the text into the background color. So the background, uh, we're going to say linear hyphen gradient. Then we're going to do a parenthesis. And first we're going to determine uh, which direction you want this gradient. I'm going to use just from left to right. Uh, it's kind of more traditional. So what you fill in is to right. Then we're going to do a comma. And now we're going to put in our first color that we want to show on the left. So we're going to do hex 1E7 3VE. This is a color code I've already got set aside. Uh, second is going to be 0%. Now this is saying starting at the far left at 0% is where we want this color first. Then we're going to go comma and then put in the hex code of our second color. So I've got 06B. 2e5 and I'm going to put that at 100% because I want that color to uh, extend all the way to the end of the line of my text. Go ahead and do uh, in parentheses, close out that line, insert a new line, and this new line is what is going to uh, clip that text to the background color. So do webkit background clip. Oops help if I spell and text and lastly we're gonna say webkit text fill color because right now this color is being uh, determined on our generate block um, headline block as that blue color so we want to make sure to change that color so we'll say text fill color transparent well so we see actually um, the text is transparent I found an error in my code. After linear gradient, we don't want a space. So uh, X out that space so that there's no uh, space in between linear gradient and the parentheses. And there you see it now. It's reflecting uh, our text is a gradient from a darker blue to a nice cyan. Um, now what you could do is play with this. We could say uh, change the direction to say to the left. And now it's going to flip that. So it's essentially reverse from what we had before. Um, you could even say to bottom. Um, so it's a darker to the lighter from top to bottom. Uh, and you can also, as a reverse, say to top. So then it's the cyan color down to the darker blue. Um, I always think to right is the most uh, effective, uh, design friendly. Um, and what I really would recommend is only use this effect for larger headlines, no smaller than H2s. Uh, and only on solid backgrounds. Uh, you'd imagine that if I place this gradient uh, effect on this H1 headline that's already on a background with an image, it's already pretty busy, um, it would become pretty unreadable uh, and illegible. So 
design standpoint and for accessibility and readability, um, definitely only use gradient text on plain backgrounds on large headlines only. All right, there you have it. That's how you can create gradient text using Generate Blocks. See you next time.